military weapons. Hi, and thank you for joining us again, where today we look at the Sukhoi Su-35. It's the NATO Flanker E, and is the latest variant of the successful Su-27 Flanker family of air superiority aircraft. The original Su-27 was born in the late 1970s to the Soviet Air Force Initiative to counter the American McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle Air Superiority Mount. Ever since then, the type's tactical value has broadened considerably in the ground attack role, and the line has even spawned the Navy-centric carrier-based Su-33. The Su-35 is marketed as a true 4th and 4.5 generation multi-role performer that's built on the strong and proven qualities of the Su-27 line, retaining its air-to-air -air prowess while incorporating advanced ground attack features. First flight was recorded in June of 1998, and after an extended period of testing, formally entered production after adoption by the Russian Air Force as the Su-35S in 2010. The aircraft features an integrated in-flight refueling probe, provision for electronic countermeasure pods, upgraded and more powerful engines, larger wing surface areas, and a forward and rear-phasing phasotronic radar system capable of simultaneously tracking of up to 24 targets 100 kilometers away over uneven terrain. An additional auxiliary internal reserve fuel tank was added as well to bring about the required operational range. The cockpit sports an updated color CRT display as well as a heads-up display along with digital fly-by-wire capabilities and quadruple redundancy. The onboard computers are able to find four different ways to achieve the desired flight control action. Avionics includes an Urbis E passive phased array radar system. The advanced nature of the Su-35 nets it as being the formal classification of fourth generation fighter, though its true capabilities go well beyond the original and current crop of fourth generation mounts while falling short of the standard that was adopted for the true fifth generation mount, such as the American Lockheed F-22 Raptor series. Power is served through two X-Saturn 111 7S after burning turbofan engines with the aforementioned thrust vector control. The engines outputted over 14,000 kilograms of thrust on full thrust and roughly over 8,000 kilograms on dry thrust make it very, very awesome. The thrust vectoring system also allows for an excellent agility when compared to the conventional Su-27 mount. The aircraft is able to make tighter turns for evasion in close-range dogfights or for outmaneuvering incoming, homing, and guided missiles. The Su-35S lists a top speed of Mach 2.25 at altitude, roughly 2,414 kilometers, and range on internal fuel is out to 3,519 kilometers while the Su-35S can ferry out to over 4,000 kilometers. The Su-35S will have the capability to operate at service ceilings of 18,288 meters and sport a 16,794 meters per minute climbing rate. As a multi-role fighter platform, the Su-35S benefits from the full array of Russian-sponsored ordnance options across no fewer than 14 weapon hardpoints, 12 underwing, and under fuselage, all external. A 30mm GSH-30 internal cannon is standard for close-in fighting, with 150 projectiles allocated, while the wingtips are reserved for the R-73 short-range air-to-air missile. Additionally, the wingtip rails can be removed and replaced with specialized electronic countermeasure pods, as mission parameters dictate. The remaining hardpoints will be home to various air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, anti-radiation missiles, anti-ship missiles, laser-guided bombs, guided rocket pods, unguided rocket pods, and precision weapons as needed. The Indian exported Su-30 MKI variant is thought to utilize some of the reported Su-35 systems and ability that's mentioned above. Early forms of the Su-27Ms were known to have been used by the Russian Knights aerial acrobatic team. 
While Russia remains the sole operator of the Su-35, it's absolutely no secret that the Sukhoi concern intends to convince foreign operators to purchase their product and directly competes with current and possible F-16, F-18, F-35, Gripen, and other customers. In its 2013 Paris Air Show unveiling, the first one to ever be done outside of Russia, the Su-35 proved a day one hit when going through its performance performance paces above the crowd, officially displaying the capabilities of the Su-35 to potential customers. The Su-35 is viewed as an excellent, low-cost, low-risk alternative to the pricier in-development Lockheed F-35 and can outpace all other existing fourth-generation designs. For budget-conscious shoppers and those nations rethinking their procurement of the bloated and delayed F-35 product, the Su-35 is appearing a better option with each passing month. Its only true rival at the moment remains the American F-22. In April of 2014, it was reported that the first batch of some 12 Su-35 fighters were handed over to the Russian Air Force, with the remainder of the 24 strong order to be completed throughout the year. 14 more will arrive throughout 2015, and the 23rd Fighter Air Regiment was a recipient and currently flies the related Su-27SM. The aircraft underwent extensive weapons testing throughout 2013, clearing over a dozen types in the process. In 2015, the Chinese Air Force has committed to the purchase of 24 of the Su-35S fighters. As a result of the downing of an Su-24 strike fighter over Syria by a Turkish fighter, Russia has deployed several Su-35 air superiority platforms to the region as part of the ongoing Syrian civil war, which has lasted from 2011 to the present day, against all opposition forces. January of 2017 saw China taking delivery of four Su-35 fighters in what is hoped to be the last purchase of a foreign fighter product. Of its armament, it features a crew of just one, with a top speed at altitude of 2,400 km per hour. At sea level, it's 1,400 km per hour. Its range at altitude is 3,600 km, while at sea level, it's just over 1,500. The service ceiling on this craft is 18,000 meters with a climbing rate of 280 meters per second. Total units that have been built are 73, with each unit costing the United States 40 to 65 million dollars for the Su-35S. You can find more specifications in the description. Thank you so much for watching. While you're here, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on notifications for more in the future.